I'm Jen. I'm Mark. And I'm Vita. And we're Team React I. Over the past few years, React has become the most dominant front-end framework on the web today. With prominent companies such as Netflix, Walmart, and Yahoo building their websites on this powerful library. However, it has come with a cost. Currently, the development workflow for React is not very streamlined due to the large amount of setup required with all the packages you need to install and the configuration you have to do for bundling and transpiling. Also, the available development tools out there are very scattered. Ben Albert, core engineer at React, said, we've lost a lot of web simplicity. What we like to have is the ability to create a single file and just run it without having to set anything up. And so we asked ourselves, how can we create a streamlined development experience from start to finish for React developers? And our solution was React Guide, the world's first dedicated IDE for React development. React Guide is an extensible development environment at the click of a button. And as it, and as it is a single development environment, React Guide is able to consolidate all the best development tools out there and cross-utilize them for a powerful and streamlined workflow. Imagine being able to open a single AppJS file and immediately begin editing your project. No build tools, no setup. With React Hide, you no longer have to imagine. React Hide takes development back to the days where you can open a single file and immediately see your project rendered in the browser. With our innovative component tree visualization tool, the developer can edit components, props, and even state right from the editor and immediately see the the changes reflected in both the browser and the editor. React Hive also offers um, a, synchronous, uh, <laughs> a synchronous UI tool for editing properties and styles. This means that you no longer have to wait and transpile every minor update to your app in order to see the changes to your effect. But how do we do this? So as Jen mentioned earlier, one of the key advantages of having a single developer environment is, able, is that we're able to take the best developer tools and cross-utilize them to create new solutions. One of these new solutions is live in browser editing of React web applications. So this is how we did it. Well, we started off with a simple code editor. Then we built a custom browser simulator. This allowed us to control what goes in and what we see. With that, we are running simultaneous renderers. Our custom renderer is building our component tree visualization tool. Then to make this tool even more powerful, we take all the project files, run it through lexical analysis to create a token map. The token map is keeping track of the values and positions of the entire code base. This enables us to update the tree visualization tool or any of the GUI tools, and the changes are reflected immediately in the code base. Um, this is with help of RxJS Observable. So for the first time, we have live in browser editing of React web applications. Since our launch last week, we have garnered an extraordinary 5,000 GitHub stars. Within days of launching, React Hive was the top trending developer and repository, outpacing both Google and Facebook. We're so humbled and so thrilled by the reaction from the developer community. And we're looking so forward to see what comes in, in the months to come. Please visit us at React